Today I'm going to show you how to build a website in less than six minutes. So by the end of this video, you'll have published a website with your own domain name. To start, click the link in the video description below. So we're going to build this website with Weebly, uh, a simple drag and drop website builder that anyone can use. I've actually spent hundreds of hours testing website builders for my website, sitebuilderreport.com. And I found Weebly to be really good for most people because one, it's really easy to use, two, it has excellent mobile friendly themes, and three, it's deceptively powerful. Um, there's a long list of features. So here we are on Weebly.com. Uh, click Get Started, then fill out this form. And for now, we're gonna say we're not selling online, but don't worry, you can always change this later. To start, we need to choose a theme. Don't stress too hard about choosing a theme in this step because you can always go back later and change it. So this looks like a good theme, let's choose that. Okay, so click start editing. And now we're at the next step. So we're going to search for your domain name now. So enter a domain name, click search. And then when you find the domain name that you like, um, just click it to choose it. Okay, now we need to choose our Weebly plan. So when you set up a website, you're paying for two things. Uh, number one, the domain name, and two, hosting. Doesn't matter if you use WordPress, Drupal, Squarespace, Weebly, um, you're gonna have to pay for these two things. A couple things to point out here. Uh, first of all, you only get the free domain name uh, when you pay for your plan annually. So if you're paying for it monthly, you're not gonna get the free domain name. So otherwise, you're gonna be paying $24 per year for your domain name. Of these four plans, I'm going to suggest the starter plan. Uh, the Connect plan is cheapest, but it doesn't allow you to remove the Weebly branding on the foot of your website, and we don't really want Weebly branding on our website. So let's select our plan. I'm gonna go with the one month subscription. Click checkout. And I'm going to fill out this form really quick. Hit save. And then click purchase. So because I selected the monthly plan, which doesn't include the free domain name, um, I'm going to have to add the domain name to our account. One thing I want to mention, uh, Weebly's domain names aren't the cheapest around. Even if you choose an annual plan, you'll only get the first year free. After that, it costs $24 a year. As an alternative, you can always buy your domain name from providers like Namecheap. Their domain names cost $14 a year. The only downside is that you'll need to get a bit technical in order to connect the Namecheap domain name to your Weebly website. Whereas if you register the domain name with Weebly, it'll just happen automatically. So just select the domain name that you want and remember that you can also search for alternative domain names here too. So one thing I'm going to do is deselect privacy protection. Most domain name providers such as Namecheap already provide this for free. So even though deselecting it will make my personal info um, not totally anonymous, um, I just think it's stupid that Weebly charges for this. So this is my act of rebellion. When everything looks good, click purchase. I'm gonna quickly fill out this form, then hit purchase. Boom, payment successful. All right, so we're good to go. So hit done. And drum roll please. Let's click over to the website, make sure it's live. Boom, there we go. Uh, our website is live on our domain name. That didn't take too long, did it? That's awesome. So as you can see, this is the same website that we're gonna find in our Weebly editor. So as we update the website in Weebly, we'll find it updated on the live website. So there you go. You have a website and domain set up in less than six minutes. Now Weebly is a visual drag and drop editor, so you can build your website by dragging and dropping elements around the website. Sort of like how you might edit a PowerPoint presentation. If you have any questions or run into trouble, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.